Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. What happens when a package goes missing? Unfortunately, it's fairly common for packages to get lost in the post. But what do you have to do as a seller when one of your packages goes missing on the way to your buyer? Well, this comes down to have you tracked your package or not. When it comes to postage, we can tend to stick with the cheapest option. We tend to have this thing where we think that no one will buy if the postage is too much, if it's too expensive. So we tend to go for the cheapest postage options. But this is actually a mistake because you have no proof that the package arrived with your buyer unless you have a signature on the other end. You need a signed postage. You need to use that every time for several reasons. The first is that it's proof that it got to your buyer's door. Unfortunately, packages get stolen on doorsteps they can accidentally be delivered to the wrong address. And unless you can prove where it ended up, you are liable for it. And, okay, it's not very nice, but some people buy things, claim they never arrived to get their money back, and then they keep the item they purchased. It's becoming more common, so it does need to be something you bear in mind. Signs postage is, it also helps you make a claim against the courier company because you can prove that it never got signed for. If it never got signed for, it got lost in the post. If you only have proof of postage, that is the receipt that of when you paid at the post office or when the courier picked up, If all you have is that receipt, that's it. All you have is proof that you actually posted it. There's nothing to help you track it on its way or when it supposedly got to the other end. Yes, tracked services are more expensive, but it only protects you. It protects your buyer as well. Because don't forget, if things go missing in the post, they don't have what they asked for. And if you have tracking, you can tell them where it got up to. You can tell them if it's just sitting in a depot somewhere. It's taken longer than usual. And it helps them keep more informed. Otherwise, you're just guessing. And that can lead to frustration on both sides. So there are different rules for each company. But you tend to have to wait two weeks before you can make a claim. But you tend to have to be have to put that claim in within 28 days. So you've only got a two week window to claim back for your postage costs. So if you don't have tracking, what do you have to do when your item never turns up? Well, you are liable for everything. You either have to refund your customer or you have to remake the item and resend, all at your expense. And this is why tracking is worth it. I honestly wouldn't use any other postage service except a tracked service because it really does protect you. When you begin making a lot of sales, you can end up really out of pocket for these missing packages. And unfortunately, it is far more common than you might realise. Tracking helps you. Tracking makes sure that you do not lose out. It really is worth it. It's the only guarantee you have that you can make a claim. It's the only guarantee you have that your package ends up where it's supposed to. 
you are far, far more li less likely to get lost packages with tracked packages because everyone knows they're being tracked. It's got a nice big label on the front saying that it is a tracked service and it is a protection. So, yes, tracks postage is more expensive, but it is worth it. And to be honest, if a customer is quibbling over a couple of pounds on the postage, well, they're not really the best customer for you. And it suggests that your prices are a little bit low. Because quibbling over a couple of pounds on postage means that someone's looking for the cheapest possible price. I wouldn't worry about losing those customers. I'd say that you're not marketing to the right customer in the first place. So don't worry about losing customers over a bit of extra postage and make sure you protect you and your customers by only using a track service, which means that you will not be left out of pocket when something goes missing. We'd love to hope for the best, but in business, you also have to plan for the worst. So that's something to bear in mind. Thank you for joining me today and listening to this episode. If you have any questions about this subject or would like to carry on the conversation, then why not come and join our Facebook group for crochet sellers? Whether you're selling what you make, writing patterns or making money from crochet another way, the support group is the place for you. It, you can also check out our newsletter. Just sign up using the link in the show notes and have tips and advice sent straight to your inbox every week. So thanks again for joining me and I shall see you next time for the next episode. Bye for now.